1.1b, whole numbers and decimals, rounding decimals. Decimals are parts of the whole. We will be naming the place values in a decimal. It is helpful to start with the ones place. The way we can identify the ones place is that it is always the number to the left of the decimal point. Next, we will be naming the digits to the right of the ones place. It is a mirror image of the way that we named the numbers that were to the left of the ones place, except for instead of just writing tens, we have tenths. We essentially have added the letters T, H, S, to the end of what we had written to the left. This means the next place will be the hundredths. Followed by the thousandths. Followed by the ten thousandths. And then the hundred thousandths. And finally, the millionth. As you can see, the same pattern that was seen on the left-hand side of the ones place is mimicked in the right-hand side of the ones place. You go from ones to tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and finally millionths. If we were to continue, the pattern would thus continue and the next number would be the 10 millionths. The same rules apply with rounding in decimal points. We will first identify the place value that it would like me to round to. It asks to round to the nearest thousandth. I start with the ones place and I name ones tenths hundreds, thousands. The two is in the thousands place. You now need to look at the number next to the place we would like to round to. Remember, if this number is between zero and four, you round down, and if it is between five and nine, you round up. We will be rounding up due to the fact that this number is between five and nine. To round up in a number that has decimals means that we will write the 4.01 rounding up. The two turns into a three, but we do not need to write the additional zeros on the end. When rounding decimals, you do not include the additional zeros. When rounding whole or counting numbers, you do include the additional zeros. Let's look at example two. It asks to round to the nearest hundredth. We must first identify the place value that is the hundredths. We start with the ones then the tenths, then the hundredths. The number one is in the hundredths place. So we look at the number next to it, or the two, to determine if we round up or round down. In this case, we will be rounding down. 
The reason we round down is because this number is between 0 and 4. This means that we keep the 4, the 0, the 1, but we round down all numbers following, which would mean the 2, the 7, and the 6 would all become zeros. We do not need to write these zeros in as this is a decimal number. The zeros are only necessary in whole numbers. So to review, we once again round up if the number is 5 through 9 and round down if the number is 0 through 4. Remembering that we are not looking at the number of the place value they asked us to round to, but the number next to it.